Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I'm going to be doing a honest review on SEMrush. I'm going to be showcasing some of my favorite features that I use, as well as go through all the pricing options to compare each plan to see if it's really worth it. And not only that, I'm also going to be explaining my thoughts throughout this video and showing you guys some of the pros and cons of SEMrush. Now, if I do pique your interest in SEMrush throughout this review, or you just simply want to follow along with what I showcase, there'll be a link in the description down below which will offer you a free trial to use here on SEMrush. If you are new to this tool, SEMrush is a SEO tool which can help you rank on platforms such as Google and YouTube. It can be very efficient for new websites based off the amount of research you want to put into SEMrush. You can search for your competitors based off some of the keywords you might be competing for, as well as do keyword research to see if there's any opportunities to compete for a keyword. And also choose between the hard to rank for or easy to rank for keywords. Not only that, you can easily search for a competitor or simply just another website to analyze their backlinks to see where their traffic is coming from, which can lead to a lot of opportunities for potential backlinks towards your website, which overall means more success. Now that I've explained what SEMrush is, let's get right into the review. All right, so now we're on the SEMrush dashboard. As you can see on the left here, there is a lot to go through. Again, I'll just be showing you guys some of my favorite features that I use here on SEMrush. Of course, once you are on SEMrush or you've logged in and created an account, you can go ahead and explore all these options to the left here. But for this video, we're gonna go ahead and start off under competitive research and click organic research. And then once you're here, you can go ahead and enter a domain, subdomain or URL. So either your website or someone else's website that you want to view. So because I do not have a website, I'm going to be using someone else's website. So this website is called pcgamer.com. All I'm gonna go ahead and do is click search. And then you should be on a page similar to mine. So as you can see, we're currently on the overview of this website. Uh, it shows their keywords, the traffic, the traffic cost, branded traffic and non-branded traffic as well. Any organic keyword trends and their top keywords and their keywords by intent. And it shows a little graph for each one of them. Now we don't exactly want to focus on this area for this video, but we want to go ahead and click on competitors. And then if we scroll down here, it shows all the competitors for the website that I chose, which is PC Gamer. So as you can see, one competitor for PC Gamer is rockpapershotgun.com, as well as gamesradar.com. And there's just plenty of competitors that you guys can go ahead and have a look at. Now what it shows is the competitors level, common keywords, SE keywords, traffic, costs, and any paid keywords that are on that website. So now that we can see our competitors, what we can actually go ahead and do is, is just copy one of the competitors that we have for our website. So I'm gonna choose gamesradar.com here. I'm then gonna go ahead in the top left here and replace my website, quote unquote, and paste in my competitors and I'll click search. And now once you have searched, you can go ahead and click positions. And what it's gonna go ahead and show us here is all the keywords that gamesradar, AKA our competitor, is trying to rank for. So as you can see, SEMrush displays their traffic, the volume, the KD percentage, and the URL. So what this all means is pretty much it's your basic traffic, so how much people are actually going to the website for that keyword. And the KD means how difficult it is to rank for that keyword. So obviously anything in the red area with a KD of 100 is very hard. As you can see, if I hover over it, it will say very hard as well. So it says it will take a lot of on-page SEO, link building, and content promotion efforts to rank for this keyword. However, if we do scroll down here, you'll see there's some orange ones, yellow ones, and even some green ones. Now, the lower the KD score means that it is easier to rank for. So as you can see here, this keyword is Demon Slayer Season 3. It has a KD rating of 27, and if you hover over it, it says easy. And it has a little green uh, color circle here, indicating that it is pretty easy to rank for. How is this helpful? It allows you to go ahead and search up the keywords that your competitors are going for and potentially take them for yourself. So obviously when you're looking at your competitors, you're not gonna go ahead and go for the high score unless you have a lot of authority. Assuming you don't have a lot of authority or you're new and you have a new website coming up, you probably wanna go for something like Demon Slayer Season 3, which is only 27, it's green, and you have a chance to rank for it. Now of course, when you build up your website, you can start going for bigger keywords, such as maybe Jake Lockley, whatever that is. It has a KD rating of 56, and it is kinda of difficult to rank for. But again, this is all assuming that you have a new website. And even if you didn't have a new website and you had a website with decent authority, taking over keywords that don't have much KD percentage or that are easy to rank for is no issue at all. And not only that, this is just a glimpse of all the keywords that this website has. There's a lot to go through and you could literally go through all of them and rank for a lot of them if you'd like. A good way to distinguish the easy ones from the hard ones is simply click the KD option here. 
and then click very easy or easy. Usually you'd probably wanna go ahead and click very easy. And then it'll go ahead and show you all the very easy keywords to rank for. So as you can see now, all the KDs are quite low. It's green, which indicates that it is easy to rank for. And this is all just from one competitor. Assuming you've had a website up for a while, you'll probably have more than one competitor, which allows you to go through a lot of keywords that you might want to rank for and put in the effort to really try and rank for those easy keywords. Now what you can also do is filter by keywords. So let's say they're going for a certain keyword like SEMrush. If they had that on their keyword area, you can just type in the filter area and click search and it'll come up with any keywords that gamebreader.com are trying to rank for. You can check the positions of certain keywords. You can check the volume. You can check the intent any SERP features and any advanced filters as well. So let's say you have found a keyword that you want to rank for. You want to go ahead and click the keyword magic tool over the left here under keyword research. And this tool right here is a very, very, very helpful tool, especially when it comes to keyword research. I'm gonna go ahead and say that you will most likely be on the keyword magic tool most of the time you are on SEMrush. It is such a helpful tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you an example of what you can do with this keyword magic tool. So let's say you had a keyword in mind. This could be for anything, it could be for your website, a ranking for Google, it could even be for YouTube or anything you'd like. So just for example, I'm gonna go ahead and use SEMrush. I'll then click search. Then as you can see, it shows us all the keywords that are linked to SEMrush. So there are a total of 8,613 keywords that are linked to SEMrush. So similar to organic research, it shows the volume, the trend, the KD percentage, the CPC. Now, as you can see, most of these keywords are just simple keywords. So simple things like SEMrush, oh, there's one there, it's called what is SEMrush. Um, a lot of them are just keywords, they're not exactly questions. What you can do is go to the top here and click questions so you can find keywords that are based off questions. So for example, a lot of the times people don't like to rank for question based keywords such as what is SEMrush or is there a free trial for SEMrush or anything like that, as long as it's like kind of a question. So what you can do is click on this here and it'll show you all the question based keywords that you can go ahead and rank for. And just like before, you can go ahead and choose the KD percentage of all the keywords and how hard they are to rank for. So again, most of you probably want to go ahead and click very easy because those are the very easy keywords to rank for. And as you can see here, it shows all the list of easy keywords that you could rank for for SEMrush. Now, most of you are probably not going to be going for the SEMrush keyword. Um, obviously, you type in the keyword that you want to go for. The keyword magic tool is very, very helpful when it comes to just searching up keywords and finding keywords that you might be able to take, especially if you're after a specific keyword that you want to go ahead and search for. It shows you all the keywords that you can go for, and you can even separate the keywords that are questions or are not questions. And let's say you had a website with a lot of authority. All these keywords here should be very easy for you guys to rank for. It's great because you can go ahead and search for the easy keywords instead of having to scroll through a bunch of keywords trying to do keyword research yourself. It puts everything in front of you and shows you how easy it is to rank for. And just overall, this is a great tool. You can spend a lot of time here searching for keywords that you might want to rank for. So now we're gonna go ahead and look at backlinks because without backlinks for any website, your website is probably not gonna be as strong as a website would be if it had backlinks. So if we go over to the left here under link building, there is backlink analytics, backlink audit, link building tool, and bulk analysis. We wanna go ahead and click the backlink analytics. What we can do here, just like the other areas, is go ahead and paste in our website and click analyze. Once we're here, we're gonna go ahead and click backlinks. And as you can see here, it shows all the backlinks related to gamesradar.com or your competitor or website of choice. So as you can see down here, these are all the backlinks. It displays them by the authority score. So for example, the hottest game and news rumor for n4g.com is the top authority score. It shows the external and internal links, the anchor and target URL. So for example, the anchor is obviously gamesradar.com, which is the website that I've just put in. And the target URL, which is the link here, which of course you can always click on as well. So if I wanted to go click this link, I can, same as the website. So now what you want to go ahead and do is in the top left, if you haven't already, you want to go ahead and click the active backlinks instead of all or new and lost. You want to go ahead and obviously search for the active ones. You don't need to look at the lost ones or new ones, mainly just the active ones because they are the one with the most authority. And if we go ahead and look at links per ref domain, we want to go ahead and click one because again, there can be a lot of links on a certain website. We're just after one. We don't need to see a lot of other ones as well. And then again, it shows all the backlinks for that website. It allows you to see where all the traffic is coming from, from your competitor, as well as where they are getting all their backlinks. So for example, let's say you were competing for the same word or a similar keyword. You will see that, for example, here it says hottest games and news and rumors. 
for n4g.com. You can then potentially go to the website and make an offer, maybe get a post on their website and potentially get a backlink, which of course is very helpful. The more backlinks you get, the more authority your website has. Not only that, you can go ahead and also just put in your own website and simply just look at the new and lost backlinks that you may have had on your website to see if there are any backlinks that are lost or no longer working, as well as to track your own backlinks as well. So this right here is very important, especially if you're just starting out with a website. Now do keep in mind, you're probably not gonna go ahead and get a backlink on a big website such as BBC or something like n4g.com as well. However, if you scroll down and look through your competitors' backlinks, I'm sure there'll be websites that are a little bit more easier to potentially get a backlink on. And of course, it just opens up your whole perspective on where you could potentially get a backlink. So overall, comparing all the three tools that I just showed you guys compared together are very, very strong. All from searching up your competitors, seeing what keywords they're going for, looking at easy keywords that you could potentially rank for and take from them as well, all the way to a keyword tool, which allows you to search up the best keywords that you could rank for, as well as checking all the backlinks for your competitors and seeing where they're coming from and allowing you to make potential opportunities to get a backlink for yourself on specific websites that you may be after. And this is only touching the surface of what you can do with SEMrush. There's a lot more to go through. I'm just showing you what I believe are the best features in SEMrush. So as you can see on the left here, there's traffic analytics, uh, keyword gap, backlink gap, keyword overview, managers, uh, backlink audit. Then if we scroll down here, there's local SEO, advertising, social media, content marketing, trends, agency solutions. There's a lot to go through. So now that I've given you a glimpse of what you can do with SEMrush, I'm now gonna go ahead and go through some of the pricing plans that they have to offer. So as you can see, there are three plans. There is the pro plan, the guru plan, and the business plan. For the pro plan, it is $129.95 a month. They recommend this plan for newbies or a small team. So they give you five projects, 500 keywords to track, and 10,000 results per report. They also offer SEO, social, and PPC tools, which have competitor analysis, keyword research, website audit, advertising, and social media tools, and much more. Now the Guru option is $249.95 monthly. They recommend this plan for agencies and mid-sized businesses. It gives you 15 projects, 1,500 keywords to track, 30,000 results per report, and it has all the features that the pro plan has as well, as well as content marketing toolkit, historical data, multi-location and device tracking, look at studio interrogation, and more. Then lastly, there is the business option, which is $499.95 a month. They recommend this plan for large agencies and enterprises. It gives you 40 projects, 5,000 keywords to track, 50,000 results per report. And it also offers all of the Guru features as well with this plan. And it gives you share of voice, extended limits, API access, PLA analytics, free migration from third-party tools, and much more. So now if we look down here, it actually compares all the plans. So there's a lot to go through here. Again, there'll be a link in the description that you guys can go ahead and check out if you did want to get in depth with this and really compare each of the plans. I'm gonna go ahead and briefly go through this area. So for example, for key features, with Pro you only get five projects, with Guru you get 15, and with Business you get 40. You can track up to 500 keywords with Pro, 1500 with Guru, and 5000 with Business. You get keyword, domain, and backlink analytics with Pro Guru and Business, which is pretty much what I just went over in this video. Uh, historical data is only with Guru and Business, as well as content marketing platform and Looker Studio interrogation. And only for business is share of voice metric and API access. So to wrap things up, I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts. This SEO tool is very helpful for new websites trying to gain authority. It allows you to search for easy keywords and show you all the potential that you could take for your website paired with analytics on any competitor that you might have, as well as also allowing you to search and analyze all the backlinks that a competitor has, where they're from, or whether or not they're achievable or not is very strong, considering how much potential that you could unlock for future backlinks. Not only is this helpful for new websites, it's great for established websites as well, allowing you to also view any broken backlinks or spam links that may be being sent to your website, and allowing you to do all the research on easy keywords that could be considered very easy for a high authority website. And of course, allowing you to do all of what I just said before. There really isn't anything bad I can say about SEMrush, apart from the fact that it isn't exactly an easy tool that you can just jump on and start using with ease. It does take a bit of getting used to, just like anything, but with enough use and with tutorials out there, 
This tool when used correctly can be very strong for anyone in the fields of SEO. I myself will definitely be using this for a long time, assuming all is well with the website. And I don't see why anyone who is looking to grow a website wouldn't want a tool like SEMrush. So based off that, I do recommend SEMrush to anyone that is trying to start up a new website or just wants to get good information on your competitors or do good keyword research. Without a doubt, with enough research and enough time to learn it and really put into the tool, you will definitely succeed in your field. So apart from that, that concludes my review on SEMrush. Hopefully I've allowed you to make a decision whether or not SEMrush is correct for you. Again, there'll be a link in the description down below which you guys can click on if you were interested in joining up for SEMrush. It will give you a free trial. Thanks so much for watching my review and hopefully I've helped you out and I'll see you guys next time.